Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Today we're playing The Bookwalker, a game that has a really beautiful art style and a very unique story, but without any spoilers, let's dive right in. Developed by Do My Best and was just released today on the 23rd of June, 2023. Interesting voiceover. Eviction notice. Oh wait, there was a letter. Mr. Etienne Quiz, this is a reminder that you may begin working off your sentences at... Why Why is that off? What? What's going on with that screen? What? I'm on full screen. Let me quickly change to window mode. That is very strange. That's as much as I can see of my screen. Uh, all right. Nothing we could fix here, I guess. Mr. Tianquist, is a reminder that you may begin working off your sentences at an, any place, whatever. In the event you work off the full sentences, you will be released from the preventive measures. Police department. Okay, I guess we did that. Independent bookstore, letter by letter. Wait, this is nuts. I can only read half the text. Bathroom is locked. I have to pay for water. Just expected. They confiscated everything. Hello? This is in Chen? Yes. Vince asked me to get in touch with you. It's about your arrest. We usually offer a small loan to writers who have their license revoked with interest. Once you get back on your feet, you can... That's not why I was trying to find you. I want to know, I've heard you can break writer's shackles. Is that true? Breaking writer's shackles varies is one of the most highly punishable crimes under writer's law. Let's say that we can break them. <sighs> However, your price varies based on how complex they are. Flipping through pages. Are yours the standard two-year kind? No, my shekels are on for 30 years. <laughs> Noise through the phone. Damn! I spilled... <laughs> What's going on with the camera? Hey, hey, get this out of here. My God, 30 years. I think we can figure something out. But the price will be, let's say, six jobs. I was told one. But Vince said it would be a one-time thing. Vince should have warned me that he was sending me a particular dangerous criminal. Have you done this kind of work before? No. Do you know what to do? Yes. Good. Your first job is waiting at the door. Hangs up. Wait, didn't I close the door? Somebody just ran down the stairs. Before we go there, what else is here? Oh, very cozy bedroom. Got a nice bathroom view to the neighbor's kitchen. Oh, <laughs> that's our workplace. Guess it's all you need. Love that plumbing here. Great job. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Who's that? They didn't take the portrait of Frederick. Guess they thought it was a fake. I didn't read it. Can you say that again? No? Okay. Okay. Sure, dude. Okay, hey, suitcase. I need to put this on the desk. There you go. Hmm. Wow. What do we have here? I have to steal a potion of immortality. Well then. The author of this book. Whose name is Jonathan Bowers. An excerpt from the book review. I like that the narration was from the point of view where the book supposed villain. But it's really annoying that these messages are caught off. What is that? 
Oh, looks like this is where the stolen item goes. Right. So the basic of the story, if you haven't guessed it yet, we use these books to travel into the story and then steal the items the book is about. And then bring it back to the real life for the collectors. The dive right in. Literally. We're in the jail cell. Oof! Man, the character design is so cool. Our head is sort of a book. Crunch. Ouch. Oh, damn it. Landing on a solid stone floor makes your bad knee twist awkwardly. Leave your knee like this. Use ink to heal yourself. Well, let's get healed up, right? You reach down and touch your bad knee. You start visualizing the ink flowing into the injured joint and healing it. Ow! A sudden icy cold feeling seizes your wrists. I forgot about these stupid shackles. You examine the mental bracelets around your wrists and the writing etched on their surface. I'm just as powerless as a plain old character. You are unable to heal your knee. Force your knee back in place. You take a deep breath but sharply wrench your knee to the side. Crunch! Mine is 1 HP. Ouch! Damn it! You bend your knee this way and that a few times, testing it. The crunching sound has stopped. Phew. Anyways, let's get down to business. I need to find the potion of immortality and take it out of here. Right. Okay, this guy wasn't as lucky. Nothing but bones left. No potions. Steel helmet? Yeah. Okay. What? Two heads! What kind of strange jail is this? Man, I want to look closer. That looks cool. Okay, we're going to inventory. Craft parts. Use food to regain health. Uh, heavy helmet spiked on the outside. Smooth and foul smelling on the inside. Can we put this on? Protruding stone. Aha. A load. If you're lucky, they might test a potion of immortality on you. What is the risk? What's the catch? Door to hallway. It's locked. Lockpick sure would come in handy. Kick the door down. Bam! Nothing happens except that your not quite healed knee starts hurt again. Oh, I thought that's gonna happen. Oof. Might as well try hitting it with my hat at this rate. Headbutt the door. Uh, no. <laughs> Thank you. But maybe use that helmet on here. Can we do that? No. Mushrooms. Take all. Okay, we got some crowbar parts from the small barrel. Adopt the potion of mentality is just going to be lying around in an ordinary barrel. But, kick the barrel. You get ready to kick. Boom! Broken barrel. We got trash and an apple. Very interesting. So, can we use this piece of rusty metal awaiting the transformation on a workbench? Okay, we, we, we'll need to get a lockpick or something, right? Okay, there's another note. Jason Little, 28, potion P4, causes unpredictable mutations. Okay, client the kingdom of Ruver, Ruver, unknown use, production volume, one unit. So they gave him the potion testing, and he gained a second hat from that. Very interesting. Okay, we don't really have too many options here, so maybe let's try to kick kick it down again. Bam. Nothing happened except you're not so quite... Yeah, no. Oof. Might as well try hitting it with my head at this rate. Try that. You hesitate for a second. Mmm. Headbutt the door anyways. Bam. With the rustling of paper, your head slips between the bars. It didn't hurt, but you aren't going to be able to pull your hat back out. You're stuck. Done goofing around, Etienne? Try to pull your hat back out through the bars. Minus one HP. Son of a... Your neck is stuck tight between the bars. Damn. Use ink. Try to pull your hat back out through the bars. Minus one HP. Your neck is stuck tight between the bars. <laughs> Can we die from this? Oh no. Try it. Okay, we, we're not losing any more health. We gotta use the ink. You let a drop of blood 
ink fall onto the bars. The part of the book is now under your control now. This probably isn't the best idea if you don't want to attract any attention, but I'll risk it and see what happens. You pull the bars apart with your bare hands. They move easily, bending to your will. At the same time, you feel your shackles starting to burn with cold. Oof, damn it. You pull your head free. Step away from the door. If I had a lockpick or something, I could use as one at least. I need to go back to reality and check my room. Oh my god. I didn't know that's possible. <laughs> I didn't know that was a... When you look in here, it didn't look like this was an option to click on to me. I thought that was just his comment. I think, okay. I think these are the options. This is an option. Okay, got it. Thank you, game. Hold to return to the real world. All right. That's, oh, but that's cool, kind of, that we kind of have a return ticket to go back to the real world. And do you want us to get a lockpick from here now? Or do we need to collect more information? Or maybe we can put things in here to take them with us. Hey, lockpick, take it all. Why don't you take all of them? I guess we put them in here, right? Looks like this was stolen item ghost. Uh, okay, maybe we just keep what we have in our inventory. Hey, now we got a lockpick. Alrighty, use a lockpick. You slowly test all the pins in the lock with your lockpick until you finally hear a click. Door opens. Damn, we almost killed ourselves for no reason. One of the cell block. What the? Yeah, this guy doesn't look too good. He's dead. Your gaze travels upon the wounds of the walker's forehead. That looks like a bullet hole. The capsule around the dead man's neck starts vibrating and you hear a soft voice coming from inside it. Nice one, Sherlock. Examine the capsule. The capsule looks like more like a cage with a little door. It's too dark for you to see what's inside. Sorry for interrupting you. You were saying something about my partner here? Go ahead. Continue. He's your partner? We were on the first job, but it didn't end well. I'm sorry, hang on. Who are you? A character? Yes, I think so, sir. But you're aware that you're a character? Of course. What do you mean, of course? It doesn't work like that. You try and use the light to illuminate the contents of the cage, but all you see inside is a scrap of paper. That's what all my past partners said, too. Past partners? How many have you had? He turned the capsule over to look at the base, but all he could find are half-legible inscriptions. Not that many. My first partner sold me to my second partner after an unfortunate incident. That second partner died. Then my third partner just found me and we started working together. Hmm. Wait, are you calling me your third partner? <laughs> oh, he's rewriting the story. That's correct. We're partners now, sir. You look at the walker's buddy again. I'll hang you around my neck for now, then figure out what to do with you later. Wonderful! I'm back in business! That's interesting. He's our partner. Okay, there's a bunch of cell doors here. Oh, jail cell with a chain. The chain leads down somewhere. You could use something heavy as a counterweight to race whatever's on the other end. Use the prisoner's helmet. Okay, we get an apple and an empty bottle. Can we use the helmet again? No. The bed and mattress have been chewed straight through. By what? Rats? Oh, wow. Giant skeleton. Damn, he's big. His name was Brian. Did you know him? No, but you can read about him on the sign in the hall hallway. Sure, next time I'm here. Okay, we got papers and burn papers. 
coins. Interesting. Okay, we can move things around. There's a hidden passage. So he also drank a potion and he became super huge. There's an ordinary power cable running through the hole in the wall. Power cable? Hold on, what's a power cable doing in an old timey jail? Exactly. That's the book's big twist. I didn't want to ruin it for you. Feel where it leads to, use pliers to cut the cable. Throw caution to the wind and pull it out of the wall. Uh, no. Feel where it leads to. The cable extends far into the darkness. What's back there? You have no idea. Okay, maybe let's get some pliers first. I feel like pulling the cable is probably a bad idea. There's a key. You see a key lying on the metal grate, surrounded by clouds of searing steam. Um, don't touch it. Touch the key. Uh, that's my only options. The key burns your finger badly as you yank your hand back. The motion jostles the key. Ouch. The key falls down through the grave. A faint clink echoes down below. Why did you do that? How was I supposed to know it would be that hot? Well, I kind of knew. I You didn't give me an option to not touch it. You could have asked me. I already read this book cover to cover several times. What do you mean you read it? Can You, you can see the text of your own book? This isn't my book. Okay, so this means you know everything about this place? I can find anything you need to know in the text. And I can also warn you of any traps or danger. You turn and look at the dad walker. <laughs> if that danger is described in the book. All right, all right. So you know where to find the potion of immortality I'm looking for? Yes, it's in the alchemist's pocket. And where's the alchemist? You rub your burnt finger. In his laboratory to the south. Great, we can forget about that key. I'll go straight to the alchemist. No need to waste time. Uh, well, I'm sure the key was good for something. Maybe this door here? No, we could just walk straight in. Wow. Smashed skeleton. They clearly didn't want him running off. Oh, they nailed him to the floor. Wow. There's a crack in here. Standing in front of cracked wall. Put your ear to the wall. Dead silence, but something tickles your ear. You feel the slightest hint of an air current flowing through the crack. There's something on the other side. This is a sledgehammer job. I agree, but there's no mention of one in this book. Are you sure? I've read it five times already. I'll go back to reality and find one then. Oh, you know someone outside of the book who has a sledgehammer? I mean, I can ask my neighbors. Not sure they'll be happy to. I'm not sure they'll be happy to see me, but my last partner was always complaining that he was all alone in the real world. That no one cared about him. And it was pointless to go there for help. That's kind of sad. Hmm, anyways, I'll be back soon with a sledgehammer, I hope. Alright. Guess we gotta go and get a sledgehammer. They said we don't have one. We'll have to ask our neighbors. Let's just trust him. They won't hear us. Kitchen? It's a still watching progress. It's been months. Hello. Okay, I guess they won't hear us. Maybe we can just find one. Hmm. Old stuff that belongs to the previous uh, people. What is that? Excuse me, are you home? Silence. Who's that knocking? I'm your neighbor. Would you mind opening the door? I need your help. Yeah, right. I'm no idiot. Get out of here before I call the police. So many unsavory types hang around these parts. I just wanted to ask you, do you happen to have a sledgehammer? A sledgehammer? Yes, there's a stubborn nail I can't hammer in. What kind of nail is it that you need a whole sledgehammer? Um, it's a really big nail. <laughs> Nothing but a sledgehammer would work. Just need it for a few hours. I promise I'll bring it back safe and sound. Damn, fine. Let me go look. Ooh, he actually got one. Noise. Here, just don't break it. Take the sledgehammer. Thank you. Whoa. 
All right, Mr. 15. Um, I'm impressed and also scared. Why do you have such a huge hammer in your apartment? Well, different times, I guess. All right, now let's use the sledgehammer. Knock down the wall with the hammer. Bam! The hammer slips out of your hand a little and your blow just glances off the wall. He sends a stare hitting from you at the capsule around your neck. You don't want him to start laughing at you. Hit the wall again. Boom! You hit the wall more confidently this time. The blow smashes through the wall, widening the gap enough for you to squeeze through. Oh, a secret room. Alchemy ingredient, green salt. It looks like an alchemy ingredient. Yeah. Got some papers on this shelf here. So, because we're a good, friendly neighbor, we're gonna return the hammer right away. Right? Can we do that? Oh, it won't let us? <laughs> do we actually have an inventory here? No, we don't. Okay. Alright, uh, I guess we said a couple hours, not a couple of minutes, so... Let's go back. Keep the hammer. Might be useful later. So I wonder if we can get some pliers somewhere to cut that cable. Exit or letter. Oh, the exit is open. In that case, I want to check out the letter real quick. Oh, there's actually a lot. Oh, workbench. You can see worn out workbench. You can make tools here if you need to. Well, yes. How, what kind of tools can I make? There's the key that fell down. I guess this is even hotter now. The key in front of you, lying on a grate again. Taking it should be no problem at all. Uh, well, before it was yellow, it was a different uh, place. So this can't be the same key. Do I even need this key? It opens the front door, which is the only way up. So you need it. Um, feel like there must be some kind of catch. I'm not sure about this. You gently rub your burnt finger through your glove. If only there was someone who could tell me if the key had cooled down yet. It must have cooled off by now. There's no way it held the heat against its long. So it's the same key. Who knows? Who knows? Ask for help. Fine. Could you please read what it says in the book? Of course. I'd be glad to. You roll your eyes. Hmm, here it is. The key isn't hot. You should be able to pick it up just fine. Right. As soon as your fingers close around the key, a wild howling echoes up from the depths of the jail. Your hand shakes, and the key, as though waiting for the opportunity, falls out of your grasp down through the grate. Ah, who the hell is that? It's better you don't know. Well, I guess we need the key, so... We gotta find out. There's a hatch on the floor. It's down to the boiler room. Do you have anything you can use to pry it open, like a crowbar? Uh, we don't have a crowbar. Where am I supposed to get a crowbar? Maybe we can make one. They don't just leave crowbars lying around in places like this, you know? The last room had a decent looking workbench. You might be able to couple together something resembling a crowbar there. I'll give it a shot. You need a crowbar, right? It should be not be hard to make this. Craft something. Crowbar parts. We need tools and a steel bar. And we can make lock picks. We can make pliers. We can make it. So we need to find pieces of metal and tools. Lower hall. Okay, there's a bunch of cages here. Stale bread. Pieces of metal. Nice. We still need to find tools. Main entrance. Watch out! Hmm? Did you hear that? What are you talking about? Oh, nice. 
a spider. Choose one of the skills, slash, drain, or stun. Stun all enemies, one damage to all 30 ink. Drain 30 ink, one damage. Two to three damage, 15 ink. Let's try to go for damage first. Use selected skills on the enemy. You can see the enemy's next move above it. It will say hit. Okay, we lose one HP. You may use healing items once per turn. Okay, we only need to slash it one more time and it's dead. Not too concerned about ink right now. Slash. Enemy's dead. That was a good fight. Oh, come on. It wasn't much of a challenge. Just an ordinary, ordinary ink eater. That was an ink eater? I thought it was a giant... They can take on any form. Even human form? You shudder. Let's not think about that. I'll just try not to use ink too often so we don't attract a whole swarm of them. Oh, there's a prisoner. Testing area. Wow, this is very high-tech. What's going on here? What the? I told you about the big twist in this book, right? Hold on, where's the alchemist? Is that him on the chair? No, the alchemist went upstairs while you were busy digging around. Fantastic. Well, he's not gonna stay there forever. A gun case. Missing a gun. Subject and results of test number 26. 124 diseased, up to 127 diseased. Now we're dealing with one number 128. Hey, Mr. 128. I can hear you walking around. Is that you again? You jerk. I'm not drinking any more of your crap. Come on, untie me already. Hey. Examine the prisoner. A division t-shirt full of bullet holes. Hmm. What does that tell us? If that's a band, I've never heard of them. Forget the band logo. The holes. His shirt is full of holes. They tested the potion of immortality on him. So he took it off a dead body. Hmm. I mean, they already tested him and there's bullet holes on the wall as well behind him. They test the potion already? Finally. Come on. Untie me already. Hey. Remove the back from the prisoner's head. You sure that's a good idea? Why not? Think of your appearance might scare him. He'll get over it. Take the sack off his head. You slowly unwind the rope, then pull the sack off the prisoner's head. Just don't panic. Oh my god, what the hell are you? I mean, what the hell are you? I warned you. Hey now, calm down. I'm human, just like you. Well, almost. Are you an alien? No, I'm a writer. But that's not important right now. Don't distract me. Why is it shit full of holes? That asshole shot me. The alchemist? Yeah, that alchemist freak. He was going on and on about all this weird stuff. He talked like he was from the Dark Ages or something. I couldn't understand most of what he said. So what did he do to you? He gave me some nasty drink. It tastes like... Ever tried orange bull? No. Well, it tastes a lot like that. Was that the product placement just now, or did they get paid to put, put that in that book? Come on, focus. Anyways, he forced that potion down my throat, and then he shot me. I've never experienced such pain. It was like my whole body was... He shot you? You look at the shell casings on the table with 47 caliber bullets? But you're still alive. Hmm. Guess it never occurred to me. How did you end up here? What do you think? Someone kidnapped me. What's the last thing you remember? Hmm. I was at the bar. The cathedral. Do you know it? No. The owners paid a hell lot of to have the guys from Reversia recreate St. Bernard's Cathedral. Nowadays, every jackass with some cash wants to recreate something. The prices there will make your eyes water, but how many chances do you get to drink in a cathedral that hasn't existed for a thousand years? What's your beer of choice? How about we stay focused? <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'm an unfiltered lager guy. Let's get back on track. Were you with anybody? At first, year. Then the guy came and sat with me. 
The alchemist? Nah. Probably someone working for him said he was a scientist from a college or something. I don't know. That's all I remember. Then I woke up here. Where are you going? Don't leave me here. Okay, I mean, if I get some pliers. Shut up wall. Bullet holes in the wall. Okay, there's a workbench. With parts and tools! Alchemist ingredients. Okay, so we have two options. We go down. We make ourselves a crowbar. Or we go up the ladder. Oh, wait, it's raised up. The ladder can only be lowered from above. Okay, that gives us only one option. Return to the tool bench. Okay, let's make a crowbar. Perfect. Open with the crowbar. Nice. Oh, boiler room. Skeleton, pieces of metal. Okay. There's a furnace. There's something in the furnace. It's a crystal. Stop it with the spoilers already. I want to find out for myself. Fine. <laughs> Your arm definitely won't fit through the bars. Um, use the crowbar to grab the crystal. Try using ink. Use the crowbar. You poke the crowbar through and move it from side to side. But the crystal doesn't budge. Damn, I can't reach it. Try use ink. You brush the ashes of your sleeve. You let a drop of blood, ink, fall onto the bars. This tiny potion of the world is now under your control. Are you sure it's a good idea to use ink? Since if... I know what I'm doing. The shackles start burning you with cold, but you finish your work before they can do any damage. You pull the bars apart with your bare hands. They move easily, bending to your will. Pick the crystal. You'd never believe it, there's a crystal in here. Isn't that something, Roderick? You grin, looking down at the cage. His name is Roderick? Huh? Roderick? I've decided to call you that. It has a nice ring to it. Excuse me, I have my own name, you know? But you said you don't remember it. I never said that. So you do know what your name is. It definitely had the letter H in it. Huh? I'm not sure. I don't like the name Hugh. You're... Oh, it was not Ha, it was Hugh. You're Roderick now. Maybe I would have been better off staying with my last partner. Well, I don't think you have much of a choice, my friend. What do we pull? A red lat. Moving along. Still trying to get that key. There you go now. Falling key. You see the key lying on the solid stone floor. There's no grate for it to fall through this time. Something feels off. From here on out, I trust no one but you with your little spoilers or anyone else. Pick up the key. You take a deep breath. Slowly, carefully, you pick up the key from the floor. You suddenly turn your head, looking all around you for signs of disturbance. The room is still and silent. You finally have the key. It's covered in ashes and quite cold to the touch. Well, you can never be too careful, right? And most importantly, we can open the main door now. Well, a trap here would have been very strange. Since it fell through a qua crate twice. So it couldn't have been prepared. But what is this? Another scene prepared for us? Again? So it's not a real jail? It's real, but... Stop! No spoilers! Fine. More metal, that's good. There's a note. Greg, I saw someone in the crematorium last night. Either a thief got in somehow or one. Hmm, interesting. We will never find out. Ooh, these are very modern looking cases. Filled with bullet casings. Another door. What's up? You're sensing something again? Yeah, whatever's up ahead is not pleasant. If you have anything you can use to heal yourself, do that now. Got it. Already did so. Uh, ladder. Old ladder. All the stored jewels and food shall be given to Victoria of Roman, daughter of somebody. There's a chest. There's somebody behind here, right? Three spiders. Okay, so same. Two to three damages. And then we can uh, drain 30 ink. 
I guess this takes zing, this brain zing. At some point we we'll have to replenish our ink, but for now, let's try to take the closest enemy out first. Now we get attacked. We lose one health. Okay, it's slash. Let's drain. Why not? Because we don't have enough ink to attack. We also do one damage. The enemy misses. We take this opportunity and drain more ink. The enemy responds with a slash. One damage. We'll drain one third time. Fill up our ink. And do one damage and kill the enemy. We win. An ornate chest and among the ordinary wooden boxes catches your eye. You grab the lid, but you can't lift it. Hmm, I think it's locked. The lock is simpler than you thought it would be. It opens almost instantly with the lockpick. We find tools, jewels, and a box. Check out the workbench if we can craft something else with the newly found tools. We can make pliers. Use pliers to cut the cable. It sparks and hisses. What are you doing, sir? Leave the cable alone. That was all? There's nothing else to be done. But we did cut it. Try and free him. I'll tell you right now, the book says you can't. I have to at least try. You walk behind the prisoner and examine the handcuffs around his wrists. What strange metal, it really looks strong. Break it with a crowbar, use a lockpick. You start probing it around with the lockpick, but quickly realize that it's too far too complex to open like this. I told you you won't be able to open the handcuffs in this book. We'll try that crowbar. You wind up and hit the chain between the handcuffs with the crowbar. Ow! You should have warned me first. You peer closely at the handcuffs, even though you hit them straight on. There's not even a scratch on them now. Sorry man, but that's not going to do any good. I had to say it friend, but there's nothing I can do. Sorry. Where are you going? Don't leave me here. I have no other choice. I could break the chair, but it's not an option of the game. So we're about to leave. Take the key out you found. The key fits perfectly. About time. There's an exit. Human skeleton without a head. Barrels smell like oak and wine. Find bread and pieces of metal. We use the bread to heal. Block passage. You can feel the wind blowing through the cracks. Looks like someone walled off the entrance to the lab from the outside. Knock it down with the hammer. You swing it into the bricks. We open up a passage. Find a cell door. Inside is the assembly area. Note. A handwritten note. Take all the money that comes in. Go to Rosentown. Buy the finest. Something. Bullets, maybe? Blueprints. A plan for rebuilding the jail from simple detail to the more complex parts. Piece of metal in the locker. Apple and trash. This door leads outside. There isn't even a lock or anything. How am I supposed to open it? It only opens from the other side. They had no intention of letting the alchemist leave. What's the plan? Splash acid on the door, which we don't possess. So let's go and find some acid. The alchemist escaped. So where's the alchemist? See that hole in the wall? He left the jail while you were playing around with the key. He's on page 84 now. Damn. You should probably hurry. Or there might not be an old potion left for you to deliver. What? He, is he planning to drink it? He told me no spoilers. Oh, right. You see an alchemy cauldron? There are various containers and books scattered around it. Judging by the smell, the last person to use this cauldron was making highly corrosive acid. Let's mix something up. Read the alchemy's recipe book. There are bookmarks all throughout the book. Guide to making acid. Corrosive acid. Green salt. Blue sulfur. Red lead. Order unknown. A chemical spattered laptop sits on the table. Do you know how this works? 
I've come across them in the books before. They're not complicated. Examine the desktop. The desktop wallpaper is an ancient portrait of a woman. The caption underneath says, Victoria of Bremen, daughter of Esmond III. Bremen Museum, 1201. The only thing he has installed is a browser. That's it. A what? Doesn't matter. There are only two tabs open. First tab. Bremen burial sites, 12th century. He was looking for ancient burial sites. One, to be exact, the grave of Victoria of Bremen. Must have been his lover. So that's where he went in such a hurry to go re resurrect her. That's why I kept telling you we have to hurry. But I mean, I wouldn't really mind letting him reunite with his lover. We don't have time for that. Second tab. Emails between him and his boss from a month ago. He was trying to convince them to give him a gun. He said it would make it easier to see whether or not the poison of immortality was working. For it was hard to indeed spilling blood with a blade. A most trying and foul business. How practical of him. So they let him use a gun in his experiments? Since there's no way to escape his laboratory, I imagine his bosses didn't see a problem with it. You mean there was no way to escape, right? You look at the melted wall. Well, search history. Online drivers add classes, plus a whole bunch of chemical names. To be fair, chemistry has made great strides over the last thousand years. Notes on salt. Never start with salt and never end with salt. Lead before sulfur means you'll suffer. So sulfur needs to come first. All right. It's what? Salt. Lead. It worked. You made acid. Nicely done. Yeah, thanks. Big spiders appear. The big one probably does the most damage. Eliminate the big one first. We do do two damage. Small enemy misses. Big enemy hits one damage. We'll slash at the big one again. It's almost dead. We should heal. Can we heal and attack? Or is our round over? No, we can still go. Okay. Do we hit the big one and drain it? Big one is dead. Small one misses. Another one, small one misses. We slash and kill. Slash and kill. Damn, that was... You did say using ink has its consequences. Yeah, spare me that lecture. How the hell do I get out of here? That metal door over there. Right. Let's do it. Put the potion on the door. We splash the contents of the flask over the door. Layer after layer, the metal starts sloughing off and dripping onto the floor. Impressive! Now let's get out of here before we're swimming in this acid. Okay, but... Did I just hear gunshots? Yes, and they're very close. Hurry. Research Institute Hallway. There's an office room and a dead man. A head wound. The computer monitor is splattered with blood, but you can see an open file under the stains. I want to see what this is. Right now, be quick or we lose the alchemist. Read the half-written document. Report date, April 29, 45. Progress on potion A1, potion of eternal life. Attempt 344, conducted by the alchemist yesterday, was unsuccessful. The object's body has been incinerated. The only have four subjects left. We are going to have to put our research in hold for roughly two months. The alchemist has stopped obstructing the process. I think he's getting close to the port ends here. Looks like they thought he'd just hand the potion over willingly. Right now? Be quick, or we lose the alchemist. Final invoice for all the work performed between January 2042 and August 2045. Near atomic environmental restoration for Project Jail, total area of 3,519 square feet, $14 million. 
Near atomic human restoration, sample severed skull, 1403. 47 resurrection attempts, $18,300,000. They tried to resur resurrect the alchemist 47 times. Jesus. Email to investors. Rest assured, everything is going according to plan. Yes, Reverse's services ended up being more expensive than expected due to additional attempts to reanimate the alchemist. But you will recoup these expenses in full. We have already reconstructed the jail. The rest is simple. Wait for the alchemist to recreate the recipe for the potion of immortality. We are currently working to accelerate our access to human subjects. Hmm, we should have seen it coming. Evil rich men who want to live forever. It's a pretty tri theme, even for a book as old as this. Can't disagree. An email from Chief of Security. I understand how important this laboratory is, and I can assure you that John has my full confidence. He was security guard at Billary's head office, and before that, he was my personal bodyguard. So I literally trust him with my life. P.S. About the new doors between the science office and the testing facility, I assure you, there's absolutely no way to open them from the inside. With locks like these, you'll hardly need John. Nothing interesting in here. More bullet, more gunshots. Dead man. Still breathing. The guard, he's already dead. Visitor registration book filled out in neat handwriting. Can we see what it is? Who's the visitor? <gasps> We're outside the city now. The alchemist is fleeing. Taxi. That was him, the alchemist. Are you sure? Yeah, after him. Come on, we can take that taxi. Hurry, follow the car. The driver gapes at you in horror. Damn, you should have really picked a different appearance when you have to talk to people. Change your appearance. Push the driver out of the car. Oh, uh, we don't have time for this. The terrified driver offers barely any resistance. Continue. You get in the driver's seat and hang Roderick's cage over the rearview mirror. Hurry, follow the alchemist. Let's go. Bremen Cemetery crashed into the alchemist's car. The alchemist is on the floor. The alchemist slowly crawls toward the entrance to the cemetery. It looks like the crash broke his leg in two places and his arm. Almost there. Stand in his way. Just go easy on him, okay? I don't have time to do this gently. I've been chasing him for half a day already. Turn him over and search him. Hey, Alchemist, I want to have something I want. Turn him over. The Alchemist tries the hardest to fight you, but you easily find the potion hidden inside the right pocket of his coat. Well, that's that. It's done. Vic. Victoria. I. I'm not Victoria. I'm going after. He's talking about his lover. I'm almost there. The Alchemist stubbornly continues crawling his way towards the cemetery. His lover is none of my concern. If I don't deliver this potion, I won't get back my ability to write. You do realize that if you do take the potion, it will disappear from the book forever, right? He succeeded so many times over and over again, every time somebody read the book. And the cycle will be broken. He'll never be able to use the potion to bring his lover back to life again. This son of a bitch literally killed dozens of people for the sake of his experiments and you're defending him like he's some kind of saint but he's still a living being he's a character in a book written by someone he's not alive maybe there's enough potion here for everyone no my orders are clear bring back the potion not half of the potion or a third or anything like that but your orders don't say anything about it being full right I'm not risking failing my first job to save a fictional character. I think you should. You shove the cage into your pocket, which muffles Roderick's voice. 
All you hear from him now is faint rumbling. That's enough from you. Risk it all and split the potion in half. Take the whole potion and leave. Deep down, we're still a good person. And the alchemist is just following his path of love. So we'll risk it all. Is it really a good idea? If I try and trick my client, he'll terminate my contract. And then I definitely won't be writing for the next 30 years at least. If half of the potion is enough to bring his wife back, it will be enough for the client to use as well. Roderick mumbles something from your pocket. Split up the potion. You stride over to the trash can and find an almost empty soda bottle inside. This will have to work. Pour out what's left. Drink it? Oh, inside the can. Right. Uh, pour out what's left. You pour the rest of the soda out onto the ground. You pour half the potion of immortality into the empty bottle, which is still sticky from the sugary soda. Then you give the original bottle back to the alchemist. No. No, the other way around. Why would you give him the original bottle? You need to keep the original bottle. As you're about to hand the potion over, your bad knee makes a horrible cracking sound, much louder and stronger than before. Crunch! Damn. You suck in a breath. The bottle tumbles out of your hand. Time seems to slow down. No! Comes a choked, muffled cry from the inside your pocket. The potion continues its flight, and you fling your hand out, but there's no way you'll get there fast enough. The potion bottle makes a clinging sound as it lands on the alchemist's head. Ow! It clings again if it, as it bounces off him and flies back up into the in your hand. Whoa! What the hell? You hear grumbling coming from your pocket. That's not how physics work. Phew. I guess I should have probably seen a doctor about my knee. You finally give the other half of the potion to the alchemist. The spark returns to his eyes and he reaches up to take the potion with a trembling hand. The other one that isn't injured. Sorry for, you know. He doesn't seem to hear you. Leaning on the railing, he slowly makes his way towards the cemetery gate. We leave the book. It's literally in a soda bottle. That's a soda bottle though? Wait, we use it to send it? Oh, I see. Okay, so we do take our inventory with us. Anyway, this is literally just to give it to the guy that contracts us. Right. Kind of like a little mini fridge. I think the courier is waiting for me downstairs. Let's not have him wait. Half days of work. For some immortality, uh... Potion, that's not bad. Did you get the item? Yes. Put the briefcase in the doorway. Do not step outside the door. All right. Here's your payment. We will be in touch. Hmm. Oh. I need to get some sleep now. I'm exhausted. What else down here? Don't hear sound coming from the inside. The apartment seems to be long since abandoned. Phone is ringing. <gasps> Were there pliers in here? <laughs> Locked. I need a key. What about your uh, lock picks? Hello? What did you deliver to me? The potion of immortality, just like you ordered. No! This is half the potion of immortality. 
And it's in an old soda bottle to boot. I just thought. But it's still a potion, though, right? I just wanted to make sure the alchemist could... You're fired! Hangs up. Damn! Um, okay. Guess we lost our job. Time to sleep. Good nighty. <laughs> what? Oh, he's here with us. Can I live here now for, for now, partner? A month later. I feel like I didn't get enough sleep. Did you sleep the whole month or? Or? What's up, partner? Well, you want to sleep some more? Too early to go to bed. I have to work now. Journal. Unlock the upgrade. Shield. Ability to absorb the damage. Current still slash drain stun. Ooh. Get a new skill. Two damage shield for one turn. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. I threw in a few ideas for my skills. Um, Yeah, we already checked that out, buddy. I don't think... Yeah, it's enough for today. <laughs> okay, you won't even let us? Hey, we got a cover now. New book announcement. Andrew Duval wanted to live a quiet life, get a good job, start a family, build a small house. A brilliant novel full of life action that literally spills off the pages right into the reader's minds. Before we pick up... The, the phone and start the second book. I'm going to finish up the episode here. If you like the episode, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And come back for episode two, book two of the game.